Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is this pedigree is for a autosomal recessive trait the probability that a child of 3, 4 and 3, 5 will manifest the phenotype for this trait is and you have to choose the correct answer. As usual I recommend you to pause the video here try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. Because this person here has parents who are unaffected, we can suggest that this is autosomal recessive trait. So genotype of the parents are going to be capital A small a and capital A small a. So they are going to be heterozygous and phenotypically normal. And genotype of this affected person is going to be small a small a. And because this is rare autosomal recessive trait, we have to assume that all people who genetically not descendant of this couple, who marry into this couple, uh, would be phenotypically and genotypically normal. So genotype is going to be capital A, capital A of this person and of this person here. And what we can say about genotypes of these children, of this couple. From mother side, they only can get dominant allele. And from the father side, they only can get recessive allele. So we know that for sure, this person here is obligate heterozygous. And the probability is going to be 100% or one. So again, all children of this couple are going to be heterozygous. Now let's find probability for this person to be heterozygous. And we know that father is homozygous normal dominant and what about mother? We know that her phenotype is normal but what is her probability to be heterozygous? Take a look. We know that her parents are heterozygous and we can build simple Punnett square and here what we are going to see capital A capital A capital A small a capital A small a and small a small a. We know that this female is not homozygous recessive or she would be affected. So we can exclude this variant. Now we have to choose what is the probability of this female to be heterozygous or to be a carrier? Her probability is going to be two, not out of four, but two out of three. Because again, we excluded this variant. So this is going to be her probability to thoughts to be heterozygous. Now let's find probability that her daughter is going to be heterozygous. And probability that her daughter is going to get dominant allele from the father side is going to be 100%. So we know that one allele is dominant. What is the probability for a daughter of this couple to get recessive allele from the mother side? Take a look. 50% that this is going to be dominant allele and 50% that she is going to get recessive allele. So we can say that probability is going to be one half that this female is going to get this recessive allele from her mother. Now we can do our final calculations. So probability for this female to be heterozygous is going to be two thirds times one half. So it's going to be two six and we can reduce these numbers and we are going to get one third. This is going to be probability for this female to be heterozygous and we know that this male here 100% is heterozygous. We also can say that one is the same as one over one. If we know that two parents are heterozygous we also can find probability for this couple to have homozygous recessive child. And as you see, the probability is going to be 
one quarter, one out of four. And now we have also multiply. If you like, we can multiply by one over one. This is probability for this male to be heterozygous. It doesn't uh, affect our calculation, so we can just exclude it. And we also have to multiply by one quarter, by one quarter, that uh, if this couple are heterozygous, they are going to have homozygous recessive child. Our final answer is going to be one third multiplied by one quarter, one twelfth. And this is going to be our final answer. Probability for this couple to have affected child of unspecified sex would be one twelfth. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.